to get into a pigeon stretch, press up to a downward dog, driving your hips up and back. As you come forward, pick up one foot and place the top of your foot on the floor so that you can slide your foot forward with your knee coming out toward that side's wrist. Once you've lowered your leg to the floor and you have your weight over your hands, you can use your back leg and flip the top of your foot down and then slide your back leg backward. From here, you get to dictate how deep you go into this stretch. This is a hip stretch, not a knee stretch. So make sure that you are not feeling any pressure or pain through that knee. You should feel a stretch coming through the side of your glutes on the front side and through your hip flexors on that back side. We do not want to just dump into our lower back arching that low back. We wanna play with using our hands to help guide our body down as we go deeper and deeper into this stretch. Now you may have also seen this performed with your lower leg perpendicular to you. Um, and that can be accessible for some people, but it can also be very uncomfortable for others. So I like to start this with my heel in toward me and play with how much of a stretch I can get here. And then slowly, as I feel more and more comfortable, lower my body down, again, using my arms to help guide me. If coming down to the floor is not yet accessible to you, you can place a pillow or a block or a big blanket underneath your hip on that front side so that you've got a little bit of support here and hold this stretch. Alternatively, if coming into this position is not accessible right now, you can perform essentially the same stretch here on the floor. And if you're ready for it, you can hold your back or your bottom leg and pull it in toward you, feeling a stretch right here.